Welcome to the shop everyone. On today's video we're going to be installing that distributor into that big block 454. So I got some parts for this old Mallory distributor. I got me a billet hold down from MSD. I got me a mullenized gear that's supposed to work with our camshaft that we bought for the engine. And uh, read some stuff in some about mullenized. They, they jack them up pretty good. They say they're the great thing. And a roll pin to hold everything together. So the first thing I want to do as far as getting this install started is to get that other gear off of that distributor. And I just use a punch and a piece of wood to hold it up and I drive the old one out. They usually come off pretty easy. I haven't had too much trouble with it. And then the new one, I just try to line it up with a line of sight, looking through it, line it up the best I can. Then. Usually on some roll pins, they'll have one side that's tapered a little better than the other side, and I'll use that taper. Uh, so if there is any misalignment, it'll help get it lined up. And that old piece of wood I'm using has got a little bit more spring in it than <laughs> I like, and, and I shot the drift across the table. All right, so. We got the new uh, gear installed, kind of looking at it. Now, the things that can affect your, the, how high your intake sits on your engine is has the intake been milled before, your, your gaskets, how thick your gaskets are. Not really decking the block, not really milling your heads straight milling, but angle milling can also affect your uh, intake manifold height. So the biggest thing we're not wanting to do is when we tighten down that distributor with the clamp, we don't want to run it into the oil pump. So that's what we're trying to check. Now, another thing I noticed when I took the gear off is that distributor there looked like it had been running, whatever engine it was on before I got it, it looked like it was running very high. So we're going to want to look at that. And another thing I found on that Mallard distributor with that new gear, I had about 25 thousandths end play. So I got me a shim and I cut it down to about 17 thousandths and that gave me about an 8 thousandths end play. I kind of like that a little bit better. Alright, so let's make the first check. Let's sit that thing down in there and see how it's sitting. It's sitting flush. That's one good thing. Now you want to check the end play and you can't check it there because that, that part there is actually hooked to the advanced mechanism. I need to get a pair of pliers and pull the bottom part that's actually attached to the gear itself and see I can still feel that 8000s end play. So we know we're not bottomed out. So by that, you know, it's not sitting up with a gap. And then I also know when I put my gasket in there, that's going to give us another probably like 30000s of clearance. But since I'm kind of in interested in the, the gear mesh. I'm going to go ahead and use some lithium grease. I'm going to stick it in the engine. I'm kind of going to hold back on the distributor and then crank the engine over with uh, my uh, wrench and kind of see what pattern we got. So, you know, it's not as bad as that other gear, but it's still towards the lower end. So I'm going to chuck that thing up in my lathe. And since it's not a distributor that has a movable collar, I'm going to machine some off of it so it'll sit a little deeper into the engine try to get the mesh with the gear a little better. I'm not going to go for perfect, but better better than it is. All right, so that moved it more towards the center of the gear. I'm satisfied with that. All the other checks check out great. And we also know when we put that, you know, gasket under there, it gives us an extra 30,000. So that part's good. Let's get the old engine on top dead center. I'll just stick my thumb in there to feel pressure, put it around the top dead center. And then I, I, I want to know the depth of the distributor as far as how much engagement I have. So with the oil pump drive and the distributor gear, I want to know I want to know how much is engaging that to spin it. So let's get a tape measure, stick down in there. Looks like we got seven and five sixteenths inches. So we'll measure that, make a mark on that mullenized gear. Now you can see the part that engages the oil pump drive is recessed up in there so let's take that measurement. Looks like we got 
about 259 thousandths. Now we're going to measure the whole length of the distributor. And it's about 7 inches and 7 eighths. So what I did to get the engagement of the oil pump drive to the distributor is, you know, we took the tape measure and we measured from the collar down to the end of the gear. So it's about seven inches and seven eighths. So that's about, you know, seven inches, eight seventy-five thousandths. We measured on the bottom of the distributor gear to where it engages into the distributor and we found that to be around 259 thousandths. And so we subtracted that and it gives us 7 inches, 616 thousandths. And we know from this, this is our measurement from the intake manifold down to the pump drive. And so we'll take that number, the 7, 7 inches, 616, and subtract that. So that gives us a total engagement between the, you know, the distributor drive and the oil pump drive of about 300 and three thousandths or so just that so that's that's over a quarter inch that's more like you know it's close to five sixteenths engagement i hear you want at least a quarter inch engagement so looks like we're going to be good there all right all right so uh you know another thing if uh your stupider won't go all the way down in there sometimes you have to line that up you can take a straight blade screwdriver and move it around some to get where a distributor will slide down in there and seat fully. Alright, so we got it set on number one. We got the engine cranked over to its top dead center on number one uh, firing order. Uh, next thing I want to do is put that billet hold down, that MSD billet hold down on there. Now I just like a good hold down. I know if that thing vibrates around and your timing gets messed up, it can damage your engine. So I bought a pretty good one, but it turns out it doesn't fit this Mallory uh, Tack Drive Distributor. So we're going to need to remedy that. So I'm going to put that in my mill and I'm going to machine it out to fit. All right, so it comes with that little stud going there. So I'm gonna go ahead and lock tight that in there so it won't back out. Tighten it up a little bit. All right, now the hold down fits well. Go ahead and set that distributor down in there. Now just so everybody knows, <laughs> The distributor is going to come back out one more time when I prime the engine. So this isn't like the final, final install, but it's just fitment. I'm going through everything to make sure everything fits well. So when I do finally install it for good, uh, I won't have to worry about anything. So all right, so the hold down looks good. The distributor length and height and everything worked out well. We got the end play set. We got the mesh with the gear worked out. So all that part's done. Again, if you guys enjoyed the video, hit that like, uh, subscribe if you'd like to. Uh, we appreciate you guys so much for watching, and we hope to see you all on the next video. Thanks so much.